Hello guys, my name is Piros Kazius and today we're going to see how we can add a model building convention in Entity Framework 7. Now before we get started, let's see what's the problem we're trying to solve. I have a console application, it doesn't do anything, it just prints hello world. And uh, I also have an entity called hero and it has an ID, a first name, a last name, a hero name, a city, an address, a phone number and a background a history for our hero. And in my persistence folder, I have my AppDB context, uh, which I hard coded uh, at the connection string. And I apply my configuration, and the only configuration is the hero configuration, which I define that the builder uh, has uh, the ID as the key. Now, what if I want all uh, the string properties of my hero entity to have a max length of 50? Now I could go to my configuration and uh, manually add that. So builder property address max length of 50 and I could do that for all my string properties. But there is an easier way to do that. I'm going to add in my persistent folder a new class and I will call that uh, string length convention now we're not going to dive deep into conventions because that could be a big topic but uh, long story short EF uses conventions as part of the mapping uh, that it does from our entities to the database table let's say uh, if you want me to do a video going deep into conventions let me know but for now let's continue okay that uh, class needs to implement the iModel finalizing convention so iModel finalizing convention and uh, now I need to implement the process model finalizing uh, method and in here we need to say that all the string properties of our entities uh, could have a max uh, length of 50 so what we need to do in the model builders metadata, so model builder dot metadata, we need to give the entity types, and uh, that will not uh, actually be the entities of your application, but uh, an internal entity framework model. But let's not go there now. So in uh, our entity types, then excuse me, let's call that. Uh, property because ultimately we're going to get the properties of its model so in uh, model builder metadata dot get entity types then we need from the entity type so entity type to get the declared properties so get declared properties and then we need to limit them to the one that they are string so let's say p from property and we need to get the runtime type of that attribute so clr type and we want them to be a string so type of string and now that we have our properties we're going to go through each of them and we and we'll say that they should have max length of 50. Okay, now the last thing I need to do for it to work is I need to go back to my AppDB context and I need to override the configure conventions method. So protected override configure conventions. Okay, and in here in the conventions of the configuration builder, so configuration builder dot conventions, we need to add our new convention and that will be a new string length convention now if i go and add a migration and i go and inspect it in my migrations folder as you can see each string property has a max length of 50. now probably in uh, your application that's not the case, you don't uh, want all your strings to have a length of 50, especially since uh, 
our string length conversion will be applied to all our entities. So if for example, let's go back to my hero entity, I want the phone number to have a max length of 20 in the background, a max length of 500. If I go to my hero configuration and I specify that, so builder.property and for the phone number that would be a max length of 20. And for our background, that would be a max length of 500. So if I go and add a new migration and go and inspect that, as you can see, it altered the column of phone number from nvatsr 50 to nvatsr 20 and uh, the one of the background from nvatsr 50 to nvatsr 500. That's because conventions will not override them something that has explicitly configured uh, in the onModule create method and the same applies to the data annotations so if instead of configuring my phone number in the background max length in here i could have easily have done that with data annotations and the behavior would be exactly the same so if you have an application that a lot of your strings are required to have a, a fixed max length you can go and try that out if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a nice one.